Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Today's video, we're gonna talk about customer master inquiry. Uh, we're gonna go over the quick ways to get there with drill downs and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the tabs that I think are important. I wanna call some attention out to, and then I'll also go over some general uh, tips and tricks when you're using customer master inquiry. Um, to start off with, I'm actually in a sales order. You don't have to be in a sales order. You can go directly from the main menu like you do everything else. Uh, but the reason I wanted to do it from here is I wanted to show you that uh, you can use your keyboard shortcuts, which in all versions of the P21 web version, it is F8 uh, to open up customer master inquiry. Now, if you do that directly from the sales order screen, it has a customer ID in it. It's gonna automatically take you to that customer uh, master inquiry for them. Uh, you can also use the drill down box here to drill directly into it. It does the same function. Uh, I already have it open here. Uh, I'll cover the top real quick. It's got your basic information and it has your customer's uh, ID number. It has the company they're assigned to if you have multiple companies, their uh, primary sales rep uh, and, and things like their credit status the, when, they were, when their account was open. And also you can have a spot here for their web address, uh, which you can link to directly by clicking uh, the link chain right next to the uh, web address. Uh, if you are using customer classes uh, for different things in your company, you don't have to go to customer maintenance to, to change those. You can do those directly from uh, customer master inquiry. Uh, keep in mind, this is a test system, so we don't have a ton of stuff loaded in here. To the right, you have your booking trends, um, which give you some sales data that actually would look better if you were actually in a real environment. Uh, in the middle of the page here, we have our contacts. Um, you can add new contacts to here. Um, you uh, just hit the, the little plus symbol over here and then you start typing in their information. And then when you hit save, it will create that contact in the system and then assign them to this customer. Now going over the tabs at the bottom, very first tab is gonna be your physical address. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, credit status, again, it breaks down a lot of the credit they're using. Uh, what's their credit limit, what's on open orders, uh, average days, um, things like that. Um, credit credit is just their credit stats that has been set along with their credit limit. You cannot manipulate that here, but you can view it. Uh, aging is going to be really big for any um, uh, AR people that are using this to do different things. Um, and then credit history, it kind of goes in that same payments. You know, these, these things are pretty self-explanatory. Um, what I like to use them for, uh, when you're coming from a sales side is it's a good spot real quick to look at every open sales order they have, gives you some information, um, under ship, unshipped value. Uh, you can also go directly into, uh, the sales order from here. Now, depending on how your system is set up, it may go into a sales order inquiry, uh, but you can always change that with a dynamic change navigation, uh, which I've covered in a previous video. Um, I like the item summary. I think it's an interesting tab that gives you a real quick, here's the history of the items they bought. Here's how many units they bought, um, sales and profit and, and all that good stuff. And there's a couple different ways you can look at this. Date cutoff means I'm going back a year and looking at in the year, these are the items they bought. And just like everywhere else in the web version, these are filterable. You can export these. And you also have some different ways to uh, look at that information. Again, there are very, very many tabs in here, open history, open quotes, you name it. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, sales pricing will show you what how their pricing structure is set up in uh, Customer Master Inquiry. You cannot change it here, but you can at least view it and understand how it's being used. Um, now, again, there are a lot of different other tabs. Some may be more important to you than others. Uh, just like every other screen uh, that has tabs, you can right click and pin tabs. But the one thing that I want to call it here that I like, especially if, if I'm an accounting person, I'm an AR person, and I always want aging to be the first thing, I can come in here and say default tab on open uh, for customers, prospects, or both. And so essentially what that's going to do is, after I save this, when I come into customer master inquiry, that's going to be the first tab I land on is my aging. Now, again, that's going to be different depending on who you are. Maybe if you're a CS uh, rep, you want open sales orders or whatever. Uh, so again, this, I tried to condense all that down as best I can. If you guys have more questions about this, please leave a comment below. If you want to see 
uh, topics and other videos, leave that down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.